Okay, so just a brief video on how to install running board supports on a Skidoo XP chassis. Um, first thing you're going to have to do is remove the bolt right here that to, that uh, secures your skid into the tunnel. Um, and then you can kind of sit the support in and figure out which uh, rivets you got to drill out for your application. Uh, on my XP Summit here, it was uh, these three, the uh, one on either side of the uh, bolt there and one a little bit further down. Uh, so once you get those drilled out, uh, then we'll come around to the other side here and I'll uh, show you what it looks like before it's actually riveted in. Okay, so once you get that, uh, once you get that uh, sat in there, uh, it sits flush with those rivets and the bolt removed. Um, there's a couple of holes that line up to some existing holes in your running boards. Um, I'd suggest these are Clecos um, that hold it tight in there, but if you don't have any kind of sheet metal tools, I suggest maybe putting a little uh, bolt in the nut on there just to uh, hold them in. And same thing with these existing holes in the uh, rivets that you drilled out. Uh, that's going to allow it to sit in there and just sit flush when you're uh, drilling your holes. Um, then you just want to drill the holes uh, for the size of rivets. There's rivets that come with the kit. Um, or you could use, I'm going to be using some better rivets because I don't like the uh, quality of the ones that, uh, that come with the kit. But just drill the, drill the holes uh, in the marked locations um, for where you're uh, going to be putting your rivets. Um, I've actually drilled my own holes in a few spots uh, that aren't uh, marked. Like, uh, I don't know if you can see that. These are what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of a guide for your drill bit in the existing marked locations. But uh, in my case, uh, I'm installing these because I'm going to be cutting out my running boards uh, so they clear snow a little bit better. So I'm putting some rivets in some other locations uh, just to hold down the pieces that I'm going to be leaving in there. Um, so once you get your holes drilled, then uh, what I would definitely do is uh, just remove the, uh, remove the uh, support once you... Uh, I've already got the holes drilled, and uh, once you got it removed, um, then you're going to want to go ahead and deburr all the holes that you uh, that you've drilled in there, because um, since it's aluminum, it's uh, you're probably going to have some burrs on there, and that's going to create a stress point. So go ahead and deburr those holes with uh, countersink. Or if you don't have a countersink, uh, what will also work well is a drill bit that's uh, quite a bit larger than the one you use to drill the holes. And just twist that by hand to uh, remove all the burrs. Um, once you're done with that, you can sit it back in there and uh, rivet it on. And uh, it's as easy as that. And uh, another thing I'd maybe suggest doing, I'll show you here, is... Uh, using uh, some type of uh, uh, sealant. I've used some Pro Seal here. Um, just put a fine film of that on all the rivets before you buck them or uh, squeeze them if you're using the pull rivets that uh, come with the kit. And that's just going to uh, kind of prevent them from working and smoking since this is obviously going to be vibrating quite a bit when you're uh, riding, etc. And yeah, once you get it all on there, it definitely firms up the running board quite a bit. And in my case, uh, it's going to support it a bit better for when I cut out these holes to make them bigger. So uh, yeah, I might post a different video with that showing you uh, cutting these running boards.